Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back with a daily race at Laguna Seca in the Group 3 cars, racing the Beetle against some very, very fast drivers. So if you do enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. So for this race, I'm starting in P3. We have PR1 Fire, one of the fastest drivers on the game, starting in P2 and um, ERM Nico driving the Corvette starting P1. Both of the drivers in front of us are actually World Tour drivers. Um, I think you'll see um, them in the regionals and also in the FIA manufacturers online finals um, over the next few weeks. So you're going to see now starting the race in the Beetle. Obviously, first things first, you're going to have to be very careful because the Beetle has not got great top speed. The two cars in front of me, pretty fast down the straight. The Viper is one of the fastest cars in the game on the straight lines however the beetle has very good tire wear this race was all about a no stop saving them tires you did not want to pit in this race because pit lane loss at laguna seca is always incredibly high um but yeah starting from p3 just trying to get into that slipstream of fire and uh, i was pretty confident we could break the slipstream to the cars behind i know that the two cars in front of me are very very fast on this game so if we can push these and have a great battle with them all the way to the end it would be really interesting as you can see the beetle obviously was probably the better car out of these although the viper was actually potential had the potential to do a very very fast time around this combination if you could look after them tires and we know that fire has that ability so you see going through that tricky left hand corner fire got a little bit out of sync there i think this was his first race on the combination he wasn't really warmed up for it there so he's going to let us go into that corner he's not going to battle it too hard because he knows if we battle probably we're going to lose time so now we've got to try and push on and catch erm nico or n romaro in front of us there um obviously on his second account driving the corvette um, pretty good car around it although I did know that, that car was going to suffer in certain corners I have driven that in the manufacturers it doesn't like the third fourth gear corner so there was going to be issues out of some of the corners but it is very good on traction in slower corners and it's also got pretty good acceleration with the way that the um, gearing is etc so finishing lap one we're about just under two seconds behind p1 we've got fire right behind us in that viper Obviously that car is going to be a threat in any braking zone after a straight because it's so fast. However, at this track, there isn't really many opportunities as we take a little look at that replay camera. You can see the gap to myself and fire. And then that little bit of an extra gap to myself and P1. We're going to have to try and close that down. We can't afford to make any errors. We've got to drive this 100% consistent all the way pretty much to the end here. We can't afford to make any errors with these two drivers that we're competing against. These are two of the top drivers on Gran Turismo. So we can't make any errors mistakes at all it's going to be a really nervous race obviously 13 laps laguna seeker can punish you really easy, especially through that left hand tricky left hand corner before the corkscrew it's a corner that can catch you out so easily and then also making sure you get your braking right at the top of the hill making sure that you try and clip that apex we missed it slightly there but also fire behind i think made a similar mistake as myself as we're now trying to push on holding that tight line into the apex onto the power run a little bit wide there that's not going to do us any good as we come into the final corner as we see the corvette in front also running a little bit wide there, making a similar mistake and then onto the brakes and then into this main straight now this is where you're going to see the viper gain on the beetle massively down this straight but the beetle isn't going to be able to do any sort of um work in terms of taking that lap the, the time off from p1 the gap is not going to come down on the straights to that um corvette in front of us the corvette is very fast and the viper is going to just keep eating into that time on the straights but through the corners this is where the beetle is pretty solid it's quite a good car through these corners it tends to be a little bit faster quite good on the rotation and also once that tire wear kicks in this race should become fairly interesting towards the end obviously the viper isn't the best car on tires however it's being driven by fire one of the best drivers on the game at looking after the tires and then we've got the corvette in front of us in the lead however that car as we know isn't brilliant on tires so this could actually become really um, eventful towards the end let's see how it progresses as we come into the end of lap three you can see coming back into the corkscrew and again trying to get that braking point right a little bit better than the lap before hooking up the apex nicely there onto the throttle careful not to put it on too early or too late because if you're too late the car over rotates if it's too early you sometimes just you, you can end up cutting the corner too easily very easy mistakes to make on the corkscrew as we now come into that final corner we've actually gained a little bit of time on p1 over that lap three there you can see we gained a few attempts there 1.3 1.4 seconds behind him he's obviously pushing while trying to look after them tires with the beetle you can pretty much go 100 percent maxed out to the end of the race 
although it will possibly start getting a little bit sketchy towards the final few laps but then again the car in front and probably the Viper are going to be suffering just as much as we go through this very tricky first sector here this is where the beetle like I say it tends to gain a bit of time so let's keep an eye on that delta 1.5 1.4 um, it's pretty similar at the moment you can see on acceleration the Corvette pulls away you're getting into, into the corners and the beetle tends to gain a little bit of time back and then you can see Viper behind is being very tactical um, right now um, driven by fire you can see what fire is doing I don't think he's overly pushing I think what he's trying to do here is look after his tires just trying to preserve them tires breaking 80 percent into the corners not downshifting too fast into the braking zones as long as he's got the slipstream that will enable him to just be nice and cautious on the brakes and then even if he does lose the slipstream he knows he can probably get it back um, because of the power down the main straight so if you jump to that replay camera, you can see the gap very close to myself on fire you can see also nico r um, sorry erm nico up in the lead there very very close it's getting them almost close to that 1.2 1.3 second mark there you can tell but again it's just very hard to get into the slipstream range with the beetle because it just lacks that straight line speed so every time we get close through a corner you tend to get to this section of the track and you can see that the viper behind gains on the beetle and then that corvette just pulls away until we get into the brake so where again the beetle can break a little bit later and also has that um, rotation advantage through this section which tends to give it a little bit of time back but yeah at the moment fairly static between those top three drivers but all pulling away from the rest of the field you can see there's a nice gap a bit of a gap developing between p3 and 4 as we skip ahead to the end of lap 7 the start of lap 8 now and you can see how that gap has started to come down you can see the tyre wear is starting to play a factor in this race you can see we've absolutely just pretty much destroyed the rest of the field here we pulled away a nice big solid gap from p3 to p4 so this now is the podium battle this is the battle for the win of the race all the way to the end now you can see the tire wear is kicking in the corvette in front of us has struggled on the tire wear a bit now you can see we've managed to pick up the slipstream as um, erm nico there runs a little bit wide again through that corner and we're just going to get into the slipstream again through here picking it up nicely and this is what we need to do in the beetle the beetle now with them better tires with that little bit of slipstream to help it on the straights this could make this race even more entertaining all the way to the finish this is actually going to be a very very close finish you can just tell we've obviously got fire behind that's going to be looking after them tires we've got nico in front of us erm nico who is obviously struggling now with that corvette the corvette does look like it's becoming a bit of a handful to drive especially with the front tyres losing a bit of grip through them faster corners he does seem to be struggling with the beetle now right up behind the corvette you can see that gap is pretty much around three four five tenths and you see less than a second separating the top three you can see that gap between the top three and p4 now it's really starting to increase but however we're going to start battling now i'm going to be looking for opportunities i'm going to have to be very defensive because we've got fire right behind us there and we're going to be trying to look to overtake at the same time so this is where caution really comes into play you can't be overly aggressive because if you just go for random overtakes you're going to end up losing the position to the viper that's behind me so have to be very very cautious making sure that we don't go for anything that is not going to risk the position um, you can see straight away there running a little bit wide there but just about managing to keep the right hand tires on the tarmac which will avoid them dirty tires as we now go into this next braking zone you can see again that cover gaining a little bit on the acceleration but then through the corners you can really see how the beetle then in the braking zone and on the throttle now with the extra grip is managing to get back and then we're going to come to this tricky left hand corner this is where the corvette technically should be struggling a little bit you can see all of us struggling there but obviously now that we're in the slipstream to nico we can't carry as much speed through that left hand corner and now into the braking zone right behind nico can we get close enough i feel like the only position that we could go for a move here was the final corner we had to get very very close through here almost hugging a tighter line there to avoid picking up that um, dirty area as we go through the corner and again you see how the car just washes off on the front end now that we've got that tire wear on the front and we're now in the slipstream the car just doesn't want to turn into the corners as much you can see very very close into that final corner onto the throttle nice and early nico getting a very very good exit from the corner and fire actually getting an even better exit 1.5 um, just over one tenth behind us now fire have a little look up the inside we're going to defend the inside fire decides i think just to break nice and early and try and take a nice smooth line through he's going to look on the inside there we got that covered and now again trying to look for a way to see if we can find a way past nico but fire obviously in the mirror there trying to see if he can 
open up a gap um, see if he can just squeeze a car through but he's not going to do anything stupid as it's one good great thing about driving drivers like Nico and Fire is uh, you kind of know they're not going to do anything daft they're going to be respectful with the overtakes and this is why I do love races like this is actually probably one of my most enjoyable daily races that I've had on Gran Turismo Sport in well over a year because in general daily races don't tend to be ultra competitive you very rarely get FIA top split drivers um, in the same race like this with um, battling out of the front and this is actually really entertaining um, it does remind me more of when the game first came out and we used to have like daily races where the top strip is all A plus drivers it really does bring back them days as you see we're going to have a little look on the inside there not able to go close enough there maybe I should have backed out and tried to get a solid exit for this corner and tried to go for a move into the inside you see he goes defensive on the inside we're going to try and take it around the outside and get a good exit from the corner try and compromise the Corvette's ability to get on the power but even with that spinning of the rear tyres you can see that that Corvette is still able to get a little bit of enough power down to really secure himself into the braking zone for turn one we're going to try and go around the outside now braking nice and late you can see just not able to do much there the Corvette making sure that he brakes nice and early hogging, hogging that inside line that is a perfect line to do for when you're defending there's very little opportunity to go around the outside there but this is really heating up for the final few laps now as you see fire getting a little bit twitchy in the rear also the Corvette in front of us starting to twitch around a bit this is actually looking like it's really opening up for the beetle the beetle is at this point of the race i feel like now we're starting to get held up a bit you can see the lap times have gone from 23.2 to 23.8 we're starting to battle so we're probably going to be losing half a second to three quarters of a second each lap at least now for um to the end of the race so probably three to four seconds from when we caught him up he's probably going to be lost because he's going to be going a little bit defensive in some of these corners we're going to have to take wider lines but this is really enjoyable um, nice clean racing going on here you can see within a few tenths of each other three tenths separating myself and Nico and also about three four tenths between myself and fire fire just sitting back there looking like he's waiting for that opportunity of when we go for that dive just to take advantage as we have a little look up the inside there not really in a position to dive it too far back two tenths behind was a little bit too far back to go for a move there as I think we got a slight little nudge there off fire I think he slightly misses breaking but um, no harm done there as we go through now down the straight maybe losing a couple attempts to the Corvette in front of us but we should be able to catch that back up with the tyre advantage that we've got in this Beetle and you can see there straight away into the braking zone pretty much ca catching him up by attempt straight away this is the tyre advantage now obviously I do know I'm pretty sure if we were all in the Beetle um, Nico and Fire would probably be a couple of seconds ahead of myself although at this point now I do think I'm getting held up a bit by the Corvette in front because we did actually do a race before this um, against Zavizic you might have seen that when we were live and we actually got pushed all the way to the end by him he was in a beetle I was in a beetle and I can tell by the lap times we are starting to struggle a little bit here now um, we were actually a little bit faster in the race with Zavizic at this point of the race but that's because obviously we're all defending we're all looking to overtake at the same time and we've obviously got a car in front of us that is really starting to struggle on the tyres. I've driven that Corvette many a times. I do know what it's like on tyres. And I also know how, where its strengths and weaknesses are. And one of its strengths is getting traction down out of slower corners. So this is going to make it pretty much impossible to get moved on going into turn one. It's got to be this final corner here. This is where I need to get a little bit closer to him. So you can see not close enough to this lap. We need to prepare it for the final lap. Now we've got one more lap to go for a move to see if we can take the win in this daily race C at Laguna Seca driving these group three cars so trying to get a good exit from there you can see again even with the Corvette struggling he gets a really clean exit from that final corner and now fire getting right behind us as well this whole race separated now the final lap separated by half a second pretty much between the top three drivers this is going to go right down to the final corner let's see as we go through this twisty section trying to make sure that we don't make a mistake this is one thing we don't want to do we want to keep it nice and smooth having a little look up the inside there that's not because we're going to go for a move we're just trying to unsettle him a bit trying to make him see us in the mirror as we see fire there giving us a little bit of a bump draft there i don't think he'd go for a move into the inside of this corner wouldn't really be worth it while we've got the slipstream we probably both lose out as we work our way up into this left fast left hand corner again very tricky corner trying to make sure that we don't make any errors through here running as far wide as we dare very tricky curb you can actually spin on that curb very easily like we done i think in a previous race 
and into the braking zone down into second gear trying to get to the apex we run a little bit wide but so does um, nico in front of us there in the corvette almost drifting through this section now this is going to be incredibly close look at this almost bumper to bumper with p1 fire just sitting back there almost waiting to attack once we go for the move we're going to possibly go for a move we're going to go for the move it's the final that we've got to do this it's only a daily race and we go around the outside can we make it work we just cannot get the power down and unfortunately as we go for that move in the final corner the viper driven by fire takes advantage of that and we end up in p3 so a brilliant race thoroughly enjoyable all the way to the finishing line great respectful racing in this daily race c between myself fire and nico and they're the type of races that i do love it actually reminded me of quite a lot of the race we did at this combination in group four when we were in the caymans and um, the porsche cayman again a combination that suited me and we were very closely matched in that one as well so quite interesting that we do tend to have good speed at laguna seeker um almost matching some of the best drivers on the game so really enjoyed that battle i hope you enjoyed it i think if it would have been an fia race i probably wouldn't have gone for that move from the final corner i possibly would have just held it on the inside and tried to pick p2 up but you know you've got to go for these moves sometimes and unfortunately that time it didn't work out and we ended up in p3 so let me know in the comment section if you did enjoy it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, notification button, all that stuff. And I'll see you all soon for more streams and video content. Thanks again for watching, everyone.